You know how when you save a game and the game goes like, oh, don't turn off the power. And if you turn off the power, the file gets corrupted and you have to delete it and start over again. I believe that when depression hits you, your file is corrupted. Somewhere along the line, your file got corrupted. And now you're living in this world, this corrupted ass save file where every shit is terrible and dark and there's no way out and you gotta just delete that shit. Sky Williams just came back with his series, Slay a May, where he answers a bunch of people's questions and a lot of them were about depression. And he gave some very good advice about depression as well as a little bit of bad advice. So let's break this thing down. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before I get started, like, I gotta keep myself in check. And I love all of you for keeping me in check. Like, I know kind of my thing on here is talking about different things going on in the YouTube community and pointing out different things to try to teach you how to improve. But something I'm a big advocate of is humility and staying humble, right? And this is why I always tell you that you need to keep people around who tell you what you need to hear and not what you wanna hear. So I've mentioned that we have a Discord server. It's gonna be linked down in the description and comments. Come join. But there is a specific channel in there for video suggestions, right? And I, somebody recommended this Sky Williams video. Uh, she was like, yo, Sky Williams did a new video and it's about depression and it's really good. And my ego came out to play. I'm like, you know what? I don't even wanna make that video. I actually tweeted out. I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna make a video about this, but here, go watch it. Cause it was a really good video. And my reason why, here's my reason why, right? And this is why we need to keep people around to call us out on our BF. I was like, you know what? I'm like, I love Sky Williams. I love Sky Williams so much and I'm so proud of him, but this fool acts like I don't exist. So I don't wanna make a video about him, right? And here is what she says to me. So in the Discord, Queen Unlikable says, I say go for it. He makes some great points. And if you think it would make a good video, then absolutely. Plus, like you always say, it's not really for them, although ho hopefully, yes, they see it and it helps, but the message is for whoever watches the video. Subscribers and anyone else who comes across the video who may find what you have to say helpful. That's how I found your channel, honestly. So as much as it would be better if he were to acknowledge and see your video, if you think the video will be overall helpful, then I say do whatever you want and make the video whether he sees it himself or not. Even though, obviously, it would be ideal for him to watch it, but that's just my humble opinion. And I'm like, damn it, Queen of Likeable, calling me out on my own stuff, I love it. And absolutely, absolutely, like you guys, Part of the issue with growing, and one of my biggest fears is changing, right? Because I'm always trying to teach you to watch other people and see what happens to them and learn from their mistakes. And you see how people begin to grow and change. So I need people like all of you, like Queen Unlikable in Discord to call me out because she's absolutely right. I tell you guys all the time, this video isn't for the YouTubers, it's for all of you. So in that moment, in that moment, I got very selfish and self-centered and I was about to deny you guys some mental health advice, some really good mental health advice because I'm upset that Sky Williams doesn't acknowledge my existence. Like, how selfish and self-centered is that? Like, real quick, y'all get, some people get really upset when I call people selfish and self-centered, but it's the truth. It's the truth, and most of the time we don't even realize it. And this intro is way too long, some of you are gonna complain about it, but sorry, you just got a little bit of a story time. So anyways, um, about a week or two ago, I made a video about Sky Williams, he came back, and I talked about how he overcame depression. I'll link it up in the info card, very good video. I love this dude, he's hilarious, very unique. And I just think he's like a genius with the way that he does his videos. He's amazing at editing. Well, anyways, uh, I guess he had a series. I never saw it before. It's called Slay and A, and he lets people ask him questions on Twitter. So he's back, and he finally and he came back with this series, and a lot of people ask him questions about depression. And there's some very good tips in there, and I want to break it down and explain why these are good tips and give you kind of like the therapeutic as well as scientific backing for some of them. It wasn't just one thing that happened in my personal life that was bad. What depression kind of does is it takes your mind and just 
with it and then puts it back in your head. It's a vicious cycle and it's gross. But not everything that went bad was because of depression, right? I mean, it certainly wasn't depression that made YouTube strike me for no reason. That is an excellent point. That is an excellent point. And this is why it's important to understand what depression is and why I make so many videos that aren't just about like, mental illness as a disorder. Like so much of our mental health is based on just life circumstances. So it's awesome that Sky pointed out like a lot of what he was going through was depression, but some things were just like, yo, that sucked. Like you guys, sometimes we just get unlucky. You know what I mean? Like right now, I don't know if you're gonna hear it, but they're like tr trimming trees right outside. That's unlucky. That's not my depression. You see what I mean? It's important to distinguish the two because something I talked to you guys about is this psychological thing called the, the locus of control, right? An internal locus of control helps you with your depression and anxiety because when you have an internal locus of control, you believe that you you're in control of most of your outcomes. So when Sky Williams acknowledges that not everything was because of his clinical depression, now you can start moving and shifting things in your own lifestyle to try to make things better. What has been your biggest weapon to fight depression? Could others use it too? Alcohol, don't do, don't use that. You shouldn't drink when you're depressed, but damn, it's fun, especially with you or with people. Alcohol PSAs piss me off so much. It's like in my head when I hear like, don't drink, I'm like, it. Alcohol is accessible and fun and in moderation could be a great stress reliever and it brings together and it makes straight men kind of act a little curious. I'm just saying like. So I'll be honest, this is the only, the only bad tip and Sky Williams was joking but it gives me the opportunity to talk about this saying that alcohol helps depression. Now, you know, I don't drink. I've been sober for a while. That's cool. If you drink, that's totally cool. All right. But I just want to touch on this because I just talked about it in my Tana Mojo um, enabling video. This goes back to the habit loop. Like for example, did you know the leading cause of addiction, whether it's alcohol or, sup or drugs, like it's a uh, mental illness. And one of the reasons is because of that habit loop. That reason is because of self-medicating. So I explained yesterday that the habit loop is a trigger, behavior, and award, reward, right? And once you go through that loop, it lays down a memory in your brain so your brain knows to do that again. So what I'm trying to explain is, is if every time you get depressed, you drink alcohol and you feel better, your brain is saying, oh, okay, so the next time I feel depressed, drink alcohol and I'll feel better. And you keep doing that. That's how a dependency is created because your brain is training itself to go for a substance every time you feel a certain way, all right? This is why a huge part of treatment is cognitive behavioral therapy. And what that is, is swapping out an old unhealthy behavior with a new healthy one. I made it kind of like a mission. Every month I want to find an RPG or really any game that I like that I normally wouldn't pick up and I want to beat it from start to finish. And what really helped me is that when I finished a game, when I accomplished it, it really helped me put small goals into perspective because it's really easy to, to look at everything you're doing and be like, well, oh, that's just so much. Oh, there's so many things. But when you beat an RPG like that, or when you beat a video game, like the game will teach you small steps and large steps, and you get a bigger sense of accomplishment, especially when you're finished. Oh my God, oh my God, Sky Williams, I love you. Like, this is what I keep telling you guys. This is what I keep telling you guys. And I'm so glad he brought up video games, okay? Something I've mentioned in a lot of my videos is if you want to work on your depression, set up small achievable goals for yourself. Like I always say, you don't have to do everything, just do something. So something I always say is like, just, you know, get out of bed, just take a shower that day, just, like clean one room of your house, do something. Because when you set up small achievable goals, your brain actually gets little spurts of dopamine and serotonin, which helps you get out of depression. So Sky Williams talks about how he's made it a new mission of his to get a video game every month that he hasn't played, play it all the way through and beat it. And that's an accomplishment. Like you guys, do you understand? Do you understand what we're saying? Like you can literally, if your goal is to play a video game, then do it. Like I don't care if you wanna read for an hour that day, I don't care if you wanna beat a video game, I don't care if you wanna knit, crochet, meditate, set up small achievable goals for yourself. They can, like this is why you craft them to what you're into and this will help your depression, okay? YouTube started to look like Fox News and I was like, hmm. I just felt this compelling need to try to make YouTube fun again in any way that I can and making content is one of those ways. So I'm here. This right here is great and I can really relate to that. So 
Sky Williams is kind of back because he found this like call to action, okay? Now, I will say real quick, you gotta find a balance between like trying to save everything or your ego getting in the way, thinking like, oh, I'm gonna save YouTube because the platforms, you know, there's so much negative content. But we gotta look at these things as a call to action. So I'll share my personal experience. It started when I used to go to um, meetings back in the day. I still go to meetings sometimes, but uh, <laughs> When I would go to meetings, and I would go to meetings, and they were just such a bummer, right? Like sometimes people were just in there, and all they were talking about was the problem and no solution. And I mean 12-step meetings, by the way. These weren't like work meetings. <laughs> But anyways, people were just talking about the problem. And like, I was very self-conscious and had social anxiety and I didn't wanna share, but it was suggested to me that maybe that feeling I'm getting is a call to action. Like, maybe I should be the one to share and maybe shift the momentum of that meeting. Maybe shift it from being this like downer, negative meeting and shift it into that positive kind of swing of things, right? So I've taken that philosophy and I've used it in the rest of my life. Like, one of the only reasons I have this channel was because I was so sick and tired of seeing like different uh, websites out there that were just like talking about the problem with mental illness and giving no solutions, no suggestions at all. I was tired of watching YouTubers out here just talking about depression and giving no solutions at all. So I made this channel and I have my little tagline, we talk about the problem but focus on the solution because I saw a problem and I wanted to help with it, right? This is something I mentioned a long time ago in a different video but my, my view on complaining is I do not complain about anything unless I'm willing to do something about it. So I'm not gonna sit around whining and complaining about other YouTubers or other websites or whatever it is unless I'm actually willing to do something about it. So that's why I started this channel. So think about that in your own life. Like what, what is something that's causing you turmoil? What's something that's making you depressed? What's something in this world, right? Like maybe it's your neighborhood, maybe it's family, maybe it's, you know, whatever it is, just think of something. If you don't like it, do something about it. Look at that as a call to action to make this world just a little bit better of a place. At Josh Spiker, I ask this as a longtime fan and someone who's rooting for you in career and life in general. What's different this time? Uh oh. What separates this comeback from the five or six other times you've quit and come back? Damn, okay, you're right. All the best, love from Seattle. Damn, man, I need to see this caught me he's like ah oh, i've seen this before this is one of my favorite questions and it's so interesting like you guys know how my brain works kind of i'm always trying to find these like similarities i try to teach you guys find the similarities rather than the differences this question that sky williams got about like what's different this time what's different about your depression this time like i can relate to it with my addiction, right? As somebody who had multiple relapses, as somebody who constantly let my family down, as somebody who constantly let my son's mother down, somebody who constantly let my friends down, right? How many times did I say, I'm sorry? I'm sorry, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change. I relapsed multiple times, multiple times, right? And, you know, but this last time, over, you know, over six years ago, this time was gonna be different. And when I first got sober, I kept telling everybody, this time is going to be different, right? And people would ask me the same thing that they would ask Scott, like, what's different? What's different? And I'm like, dang, you right. Like, what is different? And this is so important. This is so important from both sides of this, okay? But something I always try to teach you is actions speak louder than words, okay? This is what shows change. This is what shows um, that you're actually sorry. Like, I can say sorry a million times, but like, the reality is like, you're not gonna be able to forgive somebody overnight. You're not able to going to be able to see change overnight. Like, so in Sky Williams' case, the only thing he can do is prove with his actions how it's different. Maybe he's taking care of his mental health more. Maybe he's documenting it. Maybe he starts therapy. The biggest indicator is going to be if he consistently makes videos. I've been following Sky Williams for about a year now, and this is the most consistent I've seen him in the entire time, and it's just been three weeks, right? So I can see he's moving in that right direction. But for me personally, my actions spoke louder than words by staying clean, staying sober, becoming a better person. Like for example, how many of you have anger issues and you're constantly snapping at people who love and care about you? And you're like, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry about that, right? But then you just do it again. You just do it again because you're not doing anything to work on your anger issues. So remember that, remember that. Your actions speak louder than words. And I, I'm really emphasizing this point because I have clients who call me all the time and they say, why don't they trust me yet? Why don't they believe me yet? Why haven't they forgiven me yet? And I'm just like, because you're not doing anything or you're just being impatient. Like, especially for people like, 
we've done things for years, we've done awful things for years, like we've done something for years and then we expect somebody to forgive us in like a week. Like think about that logic real quick, especially when you're still holding a grudge against some kid from eighth grade who like stole your lunch or something silly. Like, so remember, it's very hard for you to let go of things, so why do you expect other people to let go of things that you've done so easily? Think about that, practice a little empathy. Man, I love slam A's. It's been so long since I've done one and like every, every single one of these is like so thoughtful and actually sweet as hell. Everyone's so nice! I'm not saying like, oh, I don't deserve it or anything, but like, you know how when you're in trouble with your mom and you're expecting her to like beat you with a fish or just like yell at you, but then like she doesn't say anything and you're like, well, just punish me. Like, please get it over with. Hit me, mom, you. Last but not least, um, I wanna I wanna talk about this gratitude that Sky Williams has. Not even just gratitude, but this kind of shock, you know what I mean? Um, that people are being so kind and nice to him when he's, you know, quote unquote, screwing up, even though he's d um, dealt with uh, mental health issues. Like, yeah, I just made a video about this, about, um, you know, how I don't deserve my amazing friends. Like, there's, a, there's definitely a balance with this because I know a lot of us, we struggle with negative self-talk, we think we're not good enough and all of that. And like, we need to realize like, like Sky Williams just has a very caring, compassionate audience. He has people who are ride or die. They have people who understand and empathize. And we need to accept that from people. We need to accept that people love and care about us and forgive us and give us second chances. You know what I mean? Because some people who don't forgive us and don't give us a second chance, like sometimes we don't deserve it, but sometimes they don't deserve us either. And it's just better that they're out, out of our lives, right? Sky Williams was close to a million subscribers. He's lost a ton of subscribers. But now he has a chance to rebuild with a very solid fan base who loves what he's doing. You see what I mean? So be willing to accept the forgiveness that people give you if they do forgive you, okay? Use their love, like it's a cliche old saying, my man Neo made a song about this a while back, but let them love you until you learn how to love yourself. And another plug for the Discord server. Come join the Discord server, okay? Because that is a place where we give you love and we'll love you until you learn how to love yourself, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Are there any of these depression tips that you can use or anything that you can relate to, all right? Or let me know this, what is that small achievable goal that you're gonna give yourself on a weekly basis or a daily basis or a monthly basis? Are you gonna read? Are you gonna play a video game? Are you gonna meditate? What is your small achievable goal that you're gonna do, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to all of these beautiful people who are signed up over on Patreon. I'm gonna use these last few seconds to let you know this. If you if you want some goodness, go sign up on Patreon right now for as the dollar tier. I would like if you did more, but at least a dollar because I have some very exciting news coming up, all right? So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.